Good morning YouTube, today is Christmas Eve and the work never stops. As you know, you can see I'm looking a bit fresher today with a clean shaved face. Well, I say clean shaved, a trimmed beard. Uh, so I look about 15 years younger. Yep, don't say anything. So today's gonna be a gym renovation. I have a, uh, a lot going on next year. I have a uh, soon to be a dad in the next few weeks. And so importantly to keep on top of the gym and keep on top of things, I'm gonna renovate the gym, make it a nice environment to train in so that in the new year, when I have limited time, I can just pop across to the garage and do my training there. So today I'm gonna to take you on a gym renovation, show you my home gym, show you the additions that I'm gonna be doing, and that's it. Hope you enjoy. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so there's no question I have a lot to do today. A quick run through of the stuff that I'm going to try and get through. Um, so I need to get up all the gym flooring. I need to uh, lay all the floor down with the newspaper because I'm going to spray the stuff in here. Uh, I need to put up some wall mounts for the uh, bar barbells. I need to uh, put a punch bag up on the ceiling with a pulley kit so that I can move it out of the way. I need to take down this um, pull-up station and I'm gonna mount one onto the wall and then I'm gonna mount some dip bars and then I'm gonna um, also possibly seal and respray the frame, the window frame, so that's black, so I've got some spray paint. And then I've got a couple of shelves that I'm gonna put up here to create some more floor space, move this table. Does it seem like a lot, but um, I think it will take a while, so uh, I'll uh, hopefully get it all done, but if not, then I'll come back uh, maybe on the 29th and do some stuff, because I'm busy until then. So for now, the key thing is really move the bike out of the way and uh, create some floor space. So let's get on with it. Okay guys, first bit has been done, which is clearing all this stuff here and shifting it all just down out of the way. <clears throat> I might reuse some of these mats. I have got some new ones, but the next thing is to lay the floor down because we're going to spray this so it looks a bit, well, I don't know. I'm not going to do a good job. Just gonna, I'm not even going to sand it. Just spray, the, just spray the thing, see how we get on and, and leave it to, uh, to dry and then lay the floor. But in our longing heart Okay, so we are part way through job number one, uh, but this is the one that's going to take the longest, I think. Um, so I'm just spraying this now, give you a look. Uh, and I've massively underestimated, really, how much um, how much paint I'd need. So I need to go to the shop now and pick up some more paint. But you can see already that that is uh, looking a million times better. Okay, so a small success, I found uh, that I've had half a can of matte super, which isn't exactly the same, but um, fingers crossed, it will do the trick. An important wagon on a moving train, in this we're all the same.
So it's Christmas Eve, it's 4.30, but I'm not gonna get all the jobs finished today. Uh, you'll see what I've done so far, not a lot's changed. Just got the rack there. I mean, how much better does that look in black? Primavera, la primavera. Uh, and then uh, that will be white. Um, so a bit of contrast, black and white there. But I'm gonna have to pop into Manchester now, excuse me, to get something for Kim. It's all very last minute, so all my stuff's out here. I'm gonna pack it all up, or pack it away so that I can put my bike back, and then I'm gonna continue on. Maybe Boxing Day morning, uh, maybe if not, then the 28th or 29th. So not ideal, but nevertheless, uh, we will get there. In this we're all the same. One small problem, however, this white stuff on the ground, snow they call it, uh, and it means that I can't move as much stuff outside because it's snowing. So I'm going to have to make do with the space that I've got and give you a rundown of finishing off the garage gym. Okay, day three, and we are getting there, I feel. I've just been deafened to, deafened to death uh, by the alarm that I forgot to bring the fob in. So the state of the garage as it stands is now this. Additions yesterday, this, this, this. So it still looks like there's a fair bit to do, but actually there isn't that much to do, so I'll open the new blind. Blinding, a bit of blinding. There we go, there we go. So jobs today are dip station, flooring, and then general tidy. I think then we are in the mix, in the mizzle. In the mix. Okay, so last port of call is the flooring. Now, I give you some advice when I do the run through video on the best type of flooring to use for your gym. This isn't the best, but it's what I have, and some of the floor mats have stayed stuck down. But the key thing I want to do here is make sure the floor stick, the floor's mats stick down. So when I'm doing push-ups, pull-ups, burpees, all this kind of stuff, I don't have loads of stuff moving around. So that's really the, uh, the key thing here. Um, so let's uh, let's do that. Cue the time lapse. On a moving train, in this we all the same. We are links in the chain. We are links in a chain. Yeah. Okay, guys. Last few stages now. Really is to just finish off the floor. Now, it won't look as good. See this tape that I'm gonna lay around, but uh, I think to in order to prevent stuff coming up, I have bought some Gorilla Tape. Which is gonna mean that um, the floor ain't going anywhere, basically. So I'm gonna just uh, get this adhesive down, spray the floor, um, and then put the Gorilla Tape on and then we're in the mix. On a moving train Yes we are mixing Yes we are mixing chain What's going down guys? So I just realised since I actually did the garage uh, renovation. I've not actually give you a tour of it. So I've just been working out in the gym. It's New Year's Day. 
It's the 1st of January 2018, so I thought what better way to start it than kicking off a tour of the gym. So uh, the key thing that I wanted to do was create a bit of space, as I've told you in the video. So I've got my bike here, which obviously I can just move forward. It's really light just to warm up the legs. I've got all my dumbbells here. Uh, they go from 12 up to 35s. A couple of barbells mounted on the wall. TV so I can flip down the actual uh, bike and watch a bit of television if I want to when I'm doing my cardio. A whiteboard essential for marking down what you need. A little shelf just for the actual water bottles, accessories, whatever. Nice studio painting I got from my sisters on my birthday. Pull-up stand and pull-up uh, dip bars. A couple of larger plates and skipping rope. Uh, then I painted all this frame white. As you can see, it just looks so much better and a bit cleaner. Step. Mounted some of those on the wall, even though some are really bent, you can see there. But is what it is. I'll replace them at some point. Got my mirror and my black... Stand back my black squat rack, which you can see looks just a lot better in my opinion. Um, and then the key thing really, uh, a couple more things, clock, alarm for all the intruders, uh, some accessories, punch bag now which is a new addition and this attaches to that so I can do legs. The key thing that I wanted to do here was create floor space. So obviously if I move that, I have a lot of floor space that I can then use here for push-ups, uh, skipping, anything that I want. So that's really useful. Uh, I'm getting a big picture here. I've got just a few bits and stuff that I've got to tidy away, and then uh, just a, a bag for my uh, a shelf for my my bag and accessories. So all in all, I think that's a pretty uh, pretty good job. It took me a lot longer than expected. I've put these strips in so the panels don't move. I just need to finish this off with some tape. But other than that, I think that's really it. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, uh, my channel is all about fitness and stuff, but it's all about active fitness and, and working out uh, at convenience and leisure and that's why I build my own gym. So uh, give this video a thumbs up, follow me if you want to see more training in here and more kind of ideas. I'm going to give you a breakdown of how I actually did everything and what I used because a lot of these things didn't cost a lot of money as you can see here but they're still really effective. So um, it's going to have been a long one this but if you sticked around to this point thank you and I will see you again soon.